You've probably noticed around this time of year, a lot of woodworkers on YouTube come up with their own design for wooden trees. And uh, this is my design here. I will have templates available on my Patreon, so you guys can go there and print those out and uh, make your own. Now this is the perfect project for using really bad pallet wood. Every once in a while I'll go pallet picking and sometimes I'll get some good pallets and sometimes I'll get some total duds and end up with a lot of junk 1x4s like this. This is actually the perfect project for that type of junky wood because we're basically just going to be shaving it all off anyways. Now this does dip a little bit into power carving, but I'm not using any fancy power carving tools. I'm just using my angle grinder and a sanding disc. And it's probably one of the easiest ways to get into the power carving scene, I think. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. So I basically start by printing off my template here and cutting it out, gluing it to my 1x4 with a glue stick, and then cutting it out. All right, so once you got that ready to go, you just need to cut them out on either a bandsaw or a scroll saw. And if you don't have either of those, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to cut these with a jigsaw. So you've noticed I got a couple designs here, but uh, you can feel free to modify these and make your own design and draw them up yourself. Now, surprisingly, I did spend a lot of time designing these. I know it looks really simple, but getting the proportions right was a little bit tricky. And I actually thought it was so simple that I could just draw it by hand on a piece of wood and make it work. Um, but I tried that and the results were not as good. But feel free to get creative with this. Now, once you have these things cut out, they're not going to look that great. But the character will develop once we start grinding them down with the grinder. But before we get there, we're going to cut the bases out. Now, you'll notice that I have a nice curve to these. And sometimes this curve will be naturally occurring in the really junky pallet wood that you've collected uh, and other times not. If you don't have that curve, you can either carve it in with your grinder or if you think that's just too much material to remove, you can remove the bulk of the material with an axe and then use your grinder to kind of sand it down and add a little bit more character. Don't worry about those axe marks. They're really easy to get out with the grinder. And this is one of those projects where nothing has to be perfect. We're going for a very rustic look here, which works really, really well with these trees. In fact, if you've got pallet wood with a little bit of bark on it, I would suggest trying to leave some of the bark on there because it actually makes it look more natural. That's my opinion anyways. All right, so let's get to the grinding. I've got a big leather glove that I'm wearing while I'm holding the tree. Now, I don't know if I should be recommending this or not. I'm going to let you uh, make your own judgment call on this. Um, some people don't recommend wearing gloves. Uh, I don't know. If I was using some sort of blade with, a, with teeth on it, I probably wouldn't wear a glove, but I also would never get my hand this close to a grinder. Um, but because my hand is so close to the grinder, because I'm holding onto this piece like this, I went for the big leather glove. So, yeah, anyways, you guys might want to clamp it to a table and work on it, especially if you're a beginner and you're not used to working with the grinder. I uh, probably wouldn't recommend you just winging it the way that I am, but uh, but I've got, a, I've got a good feel for this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So anyways, let's start with this one because it's actually the easier of the two to do. And uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and grind it down and you can kind of watch what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know that I can really explain too much because, uh, yeah, I'm basically just shaving. I'm shaving the edges down until it's nice and curved and looks the way I want it to look. And that's pretty much it for that tree. So for these trees, I basically just draw a line across here and I try to follow it with my grinder. And it's actually not that hard. I actually got a pretty good... A pretty good edge on this other tree here so let's go ahead and do that and uh and then once i get deep enough i'll just i'll just kind of shave it downwards and we'll have kind of a nice little layered look to it And to add these lines here, once again, just using the grinder and I'm using it on the edge and just, uh, yeah, just kind of winging it 
doing what I think looks good. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's that's pretty much it. Now, the assembly is pretty easy. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot glue to, to tack it into place. And then I'm going to reinforce it from the bottom. Now, I like to use dowel joinery. Now, you probably don't need the dowel in there. And in fact, you could probably just use a brad nailer or a screw. Uh, if you're using a screw, though, just remember to pre-drill the holes. Otherwise, you will crack the base and probably the tree as well. But if you've watched my channel, you, you probably know that I like to use bamboo skewers a lot. And uh, they actually work pretty good, so... And for this little guy here, I actually just cut a little piece from uh, from like a little branch that I had lying around. And uh, I think that looks pretty cool, actually. So you can definitely get creative and make your own shapes for your trees. And uh, yeah, they look really, really nice. My wife actually really liked them. Got a really nice rustic look to them. You can paint them, you can stain them, you can torch them, do whatever you want. All right, guys, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, check me out on uh, Patreon for those plans, or I, sh I guess I should call them templates. But uh, yeah, either way, I appreciate the support and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.